they go back they just snap okay <laughs> for that the only thing you need is uh, allen wrench you take that out slide and two screw that's it guys and then you take the motor out but you know make sure the power is off all that stuff this and that okay then this particular pump i guess they took it out because it, it, it was leaking that's another thing uh this pump usually got a ceramic seal and from time to time they go bad but i mean it take a long time for this thing to go bad so probably this one was some point they replaced the motor but they never replaced this this thing over here now when you replace this the assembling over here now it's a little bit more involved because you will have to insulate the water coming this way and the water go out this way matter of fact the water flow that way you see you can see the arrow over here so the water flow that way so it's easy when you have to shut off bell and and you could remove this whole thing over here and uh And uh, uh, you know, then you could replace the whole thing. But that's that's a two common problem. The seal over here, which involves a little bit more work because you will have to basically break break the loop, and uh, you might have a little water coming out of here. But for the time being, we just want to show you how easy it is to replace this coupling over here. Um, guys this uh this particular pump over here you could see it right there right when when i when i when i, I loosen up you could see that the spring snap back a little bit when you put it in, when you go back in you push a little bit the spring like that push it and then you tie you figure out how far was the old one uh, whatever okay so we got that loose right so basically not right now i gotta get this wrench over here i believe it's a nine seven sixteen if i don't mistake it seven sixteen let me get the little ratchet get over here and uh Uh, there's only two screw guys over here. There's only two screw. You loose this one out. This particular pump. This is ten. Uh, I think it's a ten model one ten pump. This pump and the market will go like for uh, I would say about three hundred bucks. Oh, this thing they last you forever man this pump could run you 20 25 years really they're expensive but they last you for a long long time and like i said before the only thing that they go bad is the, this cupping over here and sometimes they assembling over here the seal because this is a ceramic It's already loose. I'm just going to try it. And you slide this bad boy right out of here. And you replace that coupling. Basically, it should take like a. This is would be if we, this is. This will be like a five minute call. You in, you out. That's it. That's it, guys. Look. That's it. Then you come over here. The Alice. I think it's a. I'm using a three millimeter. Hopefully, I will get it out because I don't. Hope I don't strip this thing, but. And then, uh, how easy it is, guys. You take the broken one out. This one's not broke, but look, and then this slide right is. 
this is a more common problem this is spring coupling over here and from time to time they just snap right out and they, you will have no heat in their building you know um, that will be a call okay this particular model probably on the whole the whole thing if you're gonna buy like I said before it's about 300 bucks but you got some pump like the 134 the model 138 139 guys it's cost about three or four thousand dollars you're looking about three or four thousand dollars so they could be real expensive you know so in this particular application they have a 110 but you could go to application where you find out the pump you know when you call in they're gonna the tell you well that pump it cost you three four thousand dollars so at that point uh today they have all kind of pump up there that everybody make a good pump so this should be like a 10 minute call you put this cup in back you got you get a new one you slide it in you know Figure it out when you take it out, make sure where, where you left it. So when you put the same one in, you don't have to play too much with it. Even if you could mark it or something. So you know. Basically, you want to be with this, put the coupling. Because otherwise, you're not going to be able to tie it really. About level, flushing with this thing. And you should be in good shape. Okay? So you tie. I'm not using the right Allen wrench for this one. Cause this is uh, I don't know where's my Allen wrench set is someplace. You tie this thing up, and then uh, you lift it up and you slide. Simple as that. Boom. Get some screw there. Find out where's the hole is. Boom. And that's it, guy. To screw that's it you you hardly use you you only need like a 716 wrench and it